Hey everyone, welcome back to Be The Hope. This is Tuesday of the seventh week of Easter. We're also getting super close to the outpouring of the Holy Spirit as we remember Pentecost and the birthday of the church. I hope that all of you have been able to just enjoy the beautiful weather the past several days. It's truly a gift and a reminder that that God's mercies are new every day, right? Uh, that he's bringing this new life, this new springtime, uh, would, even though it feels more like summer with the humidity and all of that. But anyways, today I wanna to talk about a great saint. He's probably one of my favorite saints, and we celebrate his feast day today, and that's St. Philip Neri. Philip, St. Philip Neri was known uh, for his humor, for his laughter, for his joy. Uh, people look to him as this, this person that, that just was filled with joy, right? He, he helped a lot of orphaned boys. Uh, he started an oratory, which is just a place of prayer, a place of uh, being able to pursue the Lord in prayer, especially for young men. Uh, he, he took in, the, in these, these orphans and he, he led them, he lived with them, and he guided them in the faith. Uh, but probably one of the things that sticks out to me and, and to a lot of people is just the joy that he had. The joy and the happiness that he just, it just like oozed out of him, right? It exuberated out of him. And I think it's so easy that in the Christian life to get caught up in the fact that things have to be so rigid or things have to be so serious that we can't enjoy ourselves and we can't have fun. I love to have fun, right? I, I love to just live life to the fullest, right? God gives us the emotions of joy, of happiness, of laughter. He gives them to us for a purpose. Not for us to hold them within ourselves, but to spread them to others, right? Joy is contagious. Happiness is contagious. Laughter is contagious, right? I'm like, you, know, you hear of sympathy criers. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a sympathy laugher, but like, you know, the same thing. Somebody starts laughing and I'm like crying because I'm laughing, right? It doesn't take much to get me to cry from laughing. But anyways, I like to live that out. Like, I, I love to, to look at the, the lighter side of things. That doesn't mean that I can't get on the downside and, and get upset and frustrated and all of those things. But I think as living a life as a Christian and living life to the fullest, it's embracing the moments of joy. It's embracing the moments of laughter and allowing that to penetrate to the depths of our souls. And so St. Philip Neri, he does such this beautiful job of encapsulating this. Like you looked at him and, and, and people actually gave him a hard time and they looked down upon him because he was so joyful because he just bore the light of Christ within him and they thought how can how can you be a Christian how can you be a Christ follower and have all of this joy and, and, and just laugh all of the time but he realized the beauty of that that when we allow the joy of the Lord when we allow the happiness of the Lord to penetrate deep within our hearts it's contagious and these boys, these little orphan boys that, that St. Philip Neri helped foster and helped bring to the faith and help just grow up, right? And be humans that could survive on their own to turn away from the bad and turn towards the good. They, knew, they noticed that. They noticed that his joy, his compassion, his happiness, and how he truly longed for heaven. He taught the boys that, that he was helping, that, that he was leading and guiding. This, this song called Preferisco Paradiso, which means I prefer heaven. He would sing that over and over and over again. And I was listening to it this morning. It just seemed very fitting on his feast day. But the song just, just truly, just, at its bare meaning, says, I prefer heaven, right? And that's what St. Philip Neri wanted. He preferred heaven. He preferred heaven over this world because he knew that the joys and the excitement of heaven were far greater than what was here on this world. And that's what he, he showed anybody that he came in contact with. That when we have our eyes fixed heavenward, when we have our eyes fixed on Jesus, there's nothing more we can do but to smile and to allow that joy to fill us, to allow that great hope of eternal life to fill us. He preferred heaven. And so my question to all of you today is, do you prefer heaven? Do you prefer heaven over this world? And if you do, does that desire that you have, is that enough to allow joy and laughter and happiness to be at the center of your very being? That despite everything that's going on in the world, despite our social distancing and the stay at home orders and everything else in this coronavirus, despite all of that, does your desire to prefer heaven over everything else overtake in your soul so that you just exuberate the joy that's my question to reflect on today. It's a question for all of us because 
The more that we focus on heaven, the more that we lift our eyes to our ascended Lord and we fix our eyes on Jesus, the more we're filled with joy, the more that we are filled with, 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 with compassion for others, with mercy for others. And that's such a beautiful thing. That the more that we allow the, the joy of the Lord to fill us, the more that we're able to become fully alive. And St. Philip Neri recognized that. He recognized what it meant to be fully alive. And he recognized what it meant to live out a joyful life so that to the point that it's contagious, right? A smile is contagious. Joy is contagious. Happiness is contagious. But heaven is also even more contagious. And so imagine the impact we can have on others by just spreading that joy and excitement for heaven. Your preference for heaven and sharing that with other people, wow, that can radically transform. That can radically transform the hearts and minds of everyone that we meet. So today, in the spirit of Saint Philip Neri, reflect on what does it mean to prefer heaven? What does it mean to prefer heaven over these earthly things? What does it mean to prefer heaven in every little situation? And I encourage you to look up the song, Preferisco Paladiso. It's a phenomenal song, it's a catchy song, and I, I guarantee you, you will sing it, and it will be playing in your head. But allow that message that you prefer heaven, I prefer heaven, allow that to ring true in your soul, allow that to ring to the depths of your soul, to live that out. Because it's a beautiful message. And if you have a formed account, if you, uh, it's, a formed is a website that has a lot of everything Catholic, anything from movies to reflections and Bible studies and all of that, there's a wonderful St. Philip Neri movie on formed. And I will warn you, it's like four hours long. The one time I went to watch it with my roommate and uh, we get halfway through and it just says part one is complete and it had already been two hours. So just an FYI, it's like four hours long, but well w worth your time and you can split it up into sections. But it speaks of the life of St. Philip Neri. And you can truly see the joy in which he just lived out and how he truly preferred heaven. And so as we prepare to get closer and closer to Pentecost, as we prepare for this outpouring of the Holy Spirit, May we truly prefer heaven and may our joy be contagious to others because we have our eyes set on heaven. We have our eyes set heavenward. And I guarantee you won't be disappointed. St. Philip Neri wasn't and none of the people that followed him and learned from him were disappointed. Preferisco Paradiso, may you and I both prefer heaven. Know of my prayers and God bless.